A few weeks ago, I had to recover the data off of my uncle's desktop. The computer got stuck in a boot loop for one reason or another, and he could not access his user account. To get all of his family pictures off of his PC, he had tried several recovery techniques and even performed a system restore. Now, keep in mind, his hard drive was still 100% functional, he just could not boot into Windows to back up his files. In a situation like this, I have found it best to just mount the system's primary disk using a live Linux distro, copy its contents to a backup drive, and then reinstall Windows. This method is fast, free, and saves the users hours of troubleshooting. The first thing we need to do is make a bootable Linux USB drive. Make sure you are using a USB flash drive at least 8GB in size. This tutorial assumes that your computer can boot from a USB device. If this is not the case, you can also burn a Linux ISO to a DVD and boot from that. For the first part of this tutorial, we will be using the universal USB installer from pendrivelinux.com to write Ubuntu Mate to a flash drive. Type Pendrive Linux into your preferred search engine and click the link to pendrivelinux.com. Alternatively, you can also use the links found in this video's description. On the site's homepage, click on the link for the Universal USB installer and navigate to the section of the webpage that has the download link. Download the executable to a memorable folder. I put my executable in my downloads folder. And next, we need to download Ubuntu Mate. Navigate to the Ubuntu Mate site and click on the download tab. Select a version of Ubuntu Mate you wish to use. For this tutorial, I'm using the 16.04 release. The system that I am using for demonstration purposes is a 64-bit machine. However, if you do not know whether or not your computer is 64 or 32-bit, download the 32-bit version, as it will work with both 32 and 64-bit computers. Now we need to write Ubuntu Mate to a USB flash drive. Navigate to the universal USB installer executable we downloaded earlier. Run the executable. For the distribution, select Ubuntu Mate. For step two, navigate to and select the Ubuntu Mate ISO you downloaded earlier. Finally, assuming that you already plugged in the USB flash drive you plan to write Ubuntu to, select it from the drop down menu, check the box labeled format as FAT32, and click create. After the universal USB installer has finished, go ahead and remove your USB flash drive from your computer. To simulate data recovery, I have put a text file on our demo PC's desktop. We will now retrieve this file using our bootable USB flash drive. To boot from our USB flash drive, we need to select it as our primary boot device. Selecting a boot device varies across systems. Usually this is as simple as hitting the F12 key repeatedly right when your computer turns on, and then selecting the USB device from the boot menu. To boot into the live environment, select the option labeled Try Ubuntu Mate Without Installation. After selecting this, you might notice a couple error messages pop up. Usually these are non-critical and you should be able to boot into the live environment still without any issues. Once you have made it to Ubuntu Mate's desktop, open the Disks tool found under Accessories. Select your primary Windows volume, click the Settings button, click Edit Mount Options, turn Automatic Mount Options off, and then add the mount parameter letters R O. This will allow us to mount the volume in read-only mode. Click OK, and then click the play button on the Disks tool to mount the volume. You should notice that your Windows drive now shows up on the Ubuntu Mate desktop. From here, you can now recover your files. Our demo data is located on my Windows drive's desktop, so I'm going to navigate to the desktop on my Windows disk to verify that we can see our recovery data. As you can see, our recovery data is indeed there, and we can now move it to a USB storage device for backup. Using another USB storage device, we can now back up the data. Plug in your USB storage into the recovery machine and transfer your files over. Following the completion of the transfer, plug the storage device with the recovery data into a working computer and verify the integrity of the recovered data. And there you go, that's how you can recover your data if Windows decided to implode on itself. That's going to be about it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to support us, you can do so by checking out our Amazon or eBay affiliate links. 
Uh, if you purchase something with one of those, some of the uh, proceeds from your purchase go back to the channel. Uh, and also, if you want to support us, we have a Patreon as well. All of those links down in the description. I think I touched on everything. Oh, yeah. We also have a Facebook page, so if you want to stay up to date with everything A, computers, and technology, uh, go ahead and check out our Facebook page. That link will be in the description as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next installment of A, computers, and technology.